Chairman. Cole Craig Mr. Foss. Thank you, Mr. Chair. There's an old adage in politics explaining is losing. And I admire the more senior departing member trying to go to the rescue of his colleague, uh, Mr Nash, who found himself on the front page of the paper the other day discussing things tax and uh, promoting perhaps the, a Labour turnover tax or whatever it may be, uh, Mr Speaker. But other members have tried to come to his rescue. Even his leader actually co tried to come to his rescue. The sad truth of it is, uh, for Mr Nash's career, he is the Labour Party spokesman for revenue, uh, Mr Chair. And one day he'd like to sit where the Honourable Peter Dunn is sitting as a Minister of Revenue, I presume, because that's his portfolio. But he is forever now tainted in the sector of, from which, or of which he wants to be the minister of, if, if you want, the financial sector, or at least part of, because every time he gets up, uh, Mr Speaker, we will be asking, and the public will be asking, tell us about this turnover tax uh, you promoted on the front page of the Dominion, uh, Mr Speaker. Now, I'm sure, and we haven't explaining his losing, but for that kind of story to get out, it would have gone from Mr Nash, it would have gone to Mr Cunliffe, it would have gone to the inner sanctum with Mr Goff, so it would have had the total approval of the Labour Party and the Labour Party hierarchy. So there's a fair bit of backpedalling, re-explaining, doesn't matter. You got the front page, but I think for all the wrong reasons. Mr. S Mr. Chairman, what is this obsession with Labour have with increasing taxes? That's right. What is their obsession with it? If you call way back when they bought GST in from zero to ten, no compensation, but they increased taxes. Ten to twelve and a half, they increased taxes, no compensation, Mr Chair. The only time they did was when Cullen, Dr Cullen at least, was looking at the polls in 08 and decided even he couldn't trust himself, so they legislated its first tax cuts in about nine years on a Labour government, Mr Chair. So I can't understand. The previous member talked about fairness. What is more fair? 72% odd of New Zealand taxpayers face a highest marginal tax rate of no more than 17.5%. How could that be more fair? That is what's confirmed in part one of this bill, Mr Chair. How could that be more fair? Mr Chair, although not income tax, GST has been confirmed. Well, well it's staying the same, of course, at 15%. What could be more fair that those that spend more pay more tax? The gentleman talked about progressive tax. Well, there you go. If you're, if you're on a higher income, you spend more, you pay more GST, Mr Chair. I don't understand their obsession with they try and use this word fairness, and yet they really get it wrong. Interestingly, going back to the story in the front page of the paper, the allegation was farmers don't pay or the rural sector doesn't pay their fair share of tax. Interesting argument, and I've just addressed that, and I'm sure others will. But yesterday we had a protest outside uh, Parliament. I didn't know about it until I read about it actually somewhere. But just like Mr Cunliffe's uh, polling on the budget two days before the budget, there was a protest apparently against the budget two hours before the budget. But most interestingly, I believe that was organised by the Unite Union. Now, if we're talking about fairness on tax, and an organisation which supports the Labour Party, who owes IRD two to three hundred thousand dollars of PAYE from its employers, from its employers, then that is not fair, Mr. Chair. That is in the paper. Well, next time I'll bring down the article from from stuff. It was all over. What about a year ago? That is not fair. So members on the other side want to talk about fairness or otherwise. Well, I suggest they think a bit more carefully, Mr. Chair. Finally, Mr Chair, these income tax rates actually have an effect of also confirming a, a lower interest rates for longer for New Zealand, Mr Chair. The ability to live, the cost of living with after-tax incomes of confirmed by Part 1 here is enhanced not only by this bill but from the actions of this government over the past two budgets and the budget we're just talking about right now, Mr Chair. Enhanced. Fairness, ability to own a home, enhance. Ability to fund a mortgage, enhance. Low, record low, short-term interest rates, floating mortgage rates, record low. In some instances, almost half what New Zealanders had to suffer under the previous regime when they hit 10% and higher floating rate mortgages, Mr Chair. So when they talk about fairness, let's hear the other side talk about 
the fairness of double-digit mortgage rates under their government versus single 5 and 6 per cent mortgage rates under this government confirmed by part one of these tax rates. Mr Chair. Paul Stuart Nash.